All right, y'all, I told you I was gonna bring that Rocky Sin film study, and here it is. Y'all know what it is, man. Go make a play and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos just like this. Also, go raid the like button. Get that algorithm kicking so YouTube knows where to find us. YouTube gotta know where to find us, and we on the road to 10K. Trying to hit 10K before week one of the season, so if we could do that, we're on a mission. We're on a mission, we've been doing great lately. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and jump in this film study of Rocky Sin. I told you we was gonna bring it, and we gonna bring it. This time, we are gonna look at some pros and cons of his coverage just to see where are we at with that trade for Yannick Ngakwe. Remember, we traded him for an edge rusher, a guy that was pretty much one-dimensional in pass rushing and didn't do as well in the run coverage. Now we bring in a guy that's going to play coverage for us for this Patrick Graham session. So let's hop into it, man. So without further ado, y'all know what it is. Let's raise the tape. Here it is. First things first, we're going to start out with some cons. Not too much right here. This play turns into a big gainer when it could have been a little five-yard uh, dump off play to Jalen Rashard, but it ends up turning into about a 25-yard gain from a simple missed tackle. Then I would love to see Rocky Sim make this tackle here. You see him lined up. He's at the bottom of your screen around the 15-yard marker not marker i guess but 15 yard line and you'll see here he just simply whiffs on this play definitely should have picked it up Jalen Rashard makes a few guys miss actually but would have loved to see him make that tackle now that's the only run play i'm going to show because that was a five yard gain turned into about a 25 yard gain now let's go ahead and move on to a pass play now who else would you want to watch film on other than the goat himself tom brady you see rocky sin lined up at the bottom of your screen over tyler johnson man on man coverage he's playing close up he's not pressed really he doesn't have any contact with him, but you see he gets turned right there. Tyler Johnson is able to leverage him to the outside and is able to get back in. Now, Brady did not throw Tyler Johnson the football, but when you watch this rep, you'll see Rocky Sin definitely, definitely got turned by Tyler Johnson right there. Tom Brady's already checking it down at that point, but there is a safety over the top, so Rocky Sin probably felt like he had that help um, to where he could have the outside leverage. So I'm not going to be too concerned with that myself. Now let's go ahead and move on to another play real quick. All right, because here we got Derek Carr, another GOAT in his own regards is for the Raider fans. Now let's go ahead and run this one. You can see Rocky Sin at the top of your screen going up against Zay Jones. Now this one starts, and he's close up around the line. Again, he's not being physical. He hasn't put a hand on or anything he didn't really press him but he's on him in his hip pocket you turn you get that breaking in a route and with zay jones big body with some quickness and speed he's able to get that catch now is that too much of a concern for you let me know down in the comments if this kind of stuff is a concern for you now it's not too much but zay jones is able to uh get those on certain on certain corners now let's give zay jones some credit he did show up especially late for the raiders now let's get back to that bugs game because there was another play i wanted to show you guys here he is again he plays in a press style he'll play in that man and be up close but he doesn't really um jam him at the line if you notice every single time he he's been close he hasn't jammed them so let's go ahead and continue let this play run he's at the top of your screen and he's playing up against mike evans very clean coverage in my opinion you can't see that backside hand though but the ref throws the flag now it could have been a chintzy little flag and because it's tom brady they just called it just because but I didn't really see the wide receiver turn like that. We can go ahead and try to look from this other angle. We can go ahead and try to look from this other angle. And it's going to be hard to see. You see Darius Leonard, athletic freak right there, 53 linebacker. Um, but you see Rocky Sin able to get his hand up. It's blurry, I know. But I didn't really see a turn. I don't. You wouldn't be able to tell if he grabbed him or not. Let's watch it one more time and we'll move on. But I like where he was. I like his positioning. He didn't really panic too much. And you don't know if he really really got that pi but at the end of the day he did get the pi because the yellow laundry was on the field let's go ahead and move on to some plays that he definitely looked like a shutdown corner again in that same man coverage look he's not jamming them at the line but he is very close he's in their hip pocket and he's going up against brian edwards and y'all know how i feel about brian edwards I don't think Brian Edwards was that good, and I, I think Rocky Sin exposes him in this instance. Here he is breaking in around the same thing Zay Jones did, and Zay Jones was able to get this 
I don't want this to turn into a wide receiver comparison. Zay Jones was able to get this breaking in round, get some separation. And look at this terrible route by Brian Edwards. And people kept trying to say it wasn't him or, or he had a lot more on the field that he could have provided. But I don't think Brian Edwards was that good of a receiver, especially in the route running game. Here he is again at the bottom of the screen. Rocky Cena embarrassing this man. Another breaking in route and it's broken up. He is shutting Brian Edwards down. Like, it's, it's that simple. It's that simple. There's no if ands, or buts about it. He is breaking this man down. He is shutting him down. He's shutting him down. Brian Edwards doesn't stand a chance. Like, Brian Edwards is the biggest receiver on our team, basically. And he's falling on the ground on this one. Look at this. Not able to make a play. I mean, call it what you want. But uh, that's shut down. That's shut down, definitely. Now, let's go ahead and take another look against Tom Brady against the Buccaneers. We're going back and forth, I know, but we went from some cons, and now we've looked at a couple of pros. We looked at him in man coverage. Now, let's see what he looks like in this zone coverage. Looks like it could be a cover. Mm, looks like it's a cover, too. You look at that corner on the bottom, number 27. He doesn't go too far, but Rocky Sin does, and he stops, and he breaks off of the route. And I think because of how deep he went into that, uh, deep he went into the zone, that Brady may have thought, oh, maybe he's going, dropping back like it's a cover six or something like that. Or maybe it's a cover four. But the corner was really in the cover two, keeping his eyes on the quarterback and is able to jump this. Let's go ahead and watch. But he isn't able to pick up the ball. This is the stuff we need to finish. This is the stuff we need to finish, especially this upcoming season. Because we know last year when we had Trayvon Merritt, Trayvon Mullen, those dudes would get their hands on the ball. I, actually, everybody last year could not afford, or excuse me, could not finish on those interception plays. It was crazy. So hopefully this year, oh man, hopefully this year we can finish on plays like this because last year we were struggling and I think we finished last in interceptions. But with plays like this, it should help us. It should definitely help us get back into a better top half in that interception category. Now he just jumped around on the goat himself in his zone coverage. Here he is in man coverage. Following Deshaun Jackson, who definitely has more speed on him, able to break on the route, definitely has great ball skills. Let's watch it one more time. He's lined up at the bottom of your screen, white sleeves, as you can see, over Deshaun Jackson. Man coverage, able to get his turn, hips turned, follow the receiver. Derek Carr breaks, on the, breaks out of the pocket and is able to make a throw that almost gets intercepted by Rocky Sin. So shout out to Rocky Sin, man. Dude has been playing, dude was playing pretty well last year. Finished top five in man coverage. Definitely was a great cornerback for them. Let's see what he does for the Raiders. Man, so that pretty much sums up the Rocky Sin film study. Let me know down in the comments right now what you guys think of the Rocky Sin film study. Let me know what you think of Rocky Sin in that trade for Yannick Ngakwe. Do you guys think that Yannick Ngakwe's Edge rushing capabilities was more than what Rocky Sin is going to bring to us in the coverage aspect. So that's kind of the idea I'm thinking because we have to remember we traded, right? Also, I think we, uh, I think there was a cap thing as well that where we had to cover some of the cap for Yannick and Gakwe. Rocky Sin is on his last year of his rookie deal. So if we don't keep him, then basically we traded for a one-year run of Rocky Sin unless we give him that extension. So we must see something in him. This staff must see something in him. And I think they really do like this guy. I think they see a solid all-around athlete, a cornerback guy that can play some man, a guy that can play some zone. And uh, it's kind of decent in, in the run game, but definitely could approve on that, but not too worried because, again, he's a corner. He's got a cover. He's got a cover, right? So let me know what you guys think. Remember, hit that like button if you can. Hit the subscribe button. Go raid the like button. Go make a plan to the subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. You know what it is. I appreciate y'all being here. Until next time, y'all, raid the tape.